All right, Jaguars up. This is Love Side of the Brain. Yeah, I told y'all I'm on a hiatus. The hiatus is still ongoing. But, hey, a new revelation, and I had to put it on wax before I forget it. I mean, you can't forget the truth, but so I don't forget any points. And I want to put it out right now while the information is hot. So, yeah. So don't think that I'm coming back officially. I'm still doing a book and I'm still on a break. But I have to do this because it's very necessary. And somebody had made a joke and said, left side, you know good and well you're going, you're going to be back. And I guess that person was right. And who knows? I mean, after this video, I might come back again. But y'all know how it gets, man. This this thing be calling me like crack be calling calling for Pookie, you know? And I just wasn't feeling right today, man. I mean, went a few places and, you know, had some bad experiences with these people. And I said, let me take myself to the park so I can talk to the Jaguar fam and as soon as I pulled up and parked it's like a weight lifted off of me because I was really in my element at that moment and I said let me go ahead and you know talk about today's subject matter so today's topic a couple of topics was floating around in my mind one of them was letting it all go one of the topics was emptying the trash. One of the topics floating in my... I mean, one of the titles floating around in my mind was... The Ego War Between Males and Females. So, we'll see how it goes. I don't know, like, what I'm going to title the video right now. But we'll just see. You know, I'm at the park. I'm on the DL. You know, making this video. But what I want to speak about is... Oh, yeah, yeah. Um, hit the likes button Hit the uh, subscribe button And for those who want to donate to the channel Y'all know we got the book coming out You can do that by Donating at www.patreon.com Slash left side of the brain We also have an Instagram At left side of the brain too So without further ado Let's get into today's topic A few people at the park You know Okay, let's talk about it. The ego battle between males and females, what it all means, the esoteric principles behind it, as well as the importance of accepting the truth, what it all means. So we're going to dissect all of this and we're going to unpack all of this for you today in this video. Let's start with what inspired me to do today's lesson, okay? I was watching something on YouTube about a female who shot her boyfriend seven times. And she had a child by this particular man. And she shot him seven times. And they had a kid together, a daughter together. And before he died, he asked her, could he um, hug his daughter? And mind you, she videotaped this. This happened in Georgia. You can look it up. She videotaped it. And that's how she got convicted. I think he videotaped it, one or the other, but you can look it up. But anyway, that's how she got convicted, right? And in the court, her mother told the judge to throw the book at her. Like, to give her the stiffest punishment possible. That's what her mother told her in the courtroom. And her mother scolded her. And I got to catch these squirrels. Look at this. Wow. Yeah, her mother scolded her 
And she cursed at her mother. She called her a female dog. And her mother was like, she give her life, basically. So that's what inspired me to do today's video, okay? Why I say that is because of this. The reason why that incident happened is because the female that I'm speaking about, her boyfriend decided to move on with his life. So she got envious over that. She got jealous and whatever. So she decided to kill him. Right? Now, when I analyzed all of this, I said it myself. The reason why things happen like this is because people have not accepted the reality of life itself. Especially as it pertains to males and females and how we relate to each other. You see? Ignorance is in a constant battle with intelligence. And when you do not have intelligence about life, you will do a lot of ignorant things that will get you in trouble. Okay? So, what caused this female to do what she did? She didn't have control of her emotions. And men do the same thing sometimes in relationships. They may fly off the handle and kill their girlfriend. And I'm going to tell you why they do this. See, when women do like that lady did who shot that dude seven times, they do it because a female, she is taught, she is taught her entire life that her sex and her body is the most important thing in the world. It's the best thing since, since God created, created water. Y'all know I keep this little blue water. So she's taught her entire life that her sexuality is the best thing since God created water. This is what females actually believe. This is how they feel about men. That all men desire them like water itself. So when she finally gave in to this man. And when they finally got into the relationship. She as the female feels like because she is worth all of this. Because she is offering this man sex. That he should never fall in love with another woman. Okay, why does she feel like that? Remember, I started this video by saying these type of things happen because people don't understand the nature of life itself. And when you are ignorant about things, you are emotional about things. So ignorance and emotions go hand in hand. The more intelligent you get, about life itself the less emotional you will be about this life so what happened is fuck it man fucking demon come right beside me let me let me move y'all i'm gonna move over here by the steps shit Fucking stupid ass motherfucker too on top of that. Damn, she sound ignorant as fuck. Sorry about that, y'all. Sorry about that. Let me sit right here, man. Stupid bitch. Gotta come and interrupt the end of the video. Motherfucking demon. Anyway, when you and I'm sorry y'all about that. I don't really like to talk like that. Y'all know how I get sometimes. Anyway, when you are ignorant about things, you will do ignorant things. You will be in your emotions. Emotions are based in not understanding how life operates. If you truly understood how life operates, you wouldn't get emotional about anything. Okay, needless to say, back to, I had to say that to set up why the woman did what she did. To set up, you know... 
the understanding of why she did what she did. She did it because, like I said, women grow up with this ideal idea about themselves that they are the best thing since God created water. So when she finally gave in to this man, finally decided to be his woman or whatever, because she don't understand male nature, she flew off the handle and ended up killing this man. Okay? And she did this because she she felt like her ego was shattered because she felt like I should be the greatest thing in this man's life because I gave him sex. I had his child. Not knowing that a man's nature is to be attracted to more than one female. You see? And what a lot of females don't understand is that when men submit to being in a committed relationship, they only do this because, well, they meeting you halfway. Because no woman, for the most part, is going to continually have sex with a man without getting some type of commitment out of the ordeal or without getting some type of monetary resource from the man money he he has to pay her bills he he's going to have to do something eventually for this woman to keep coming back to him because females they are opportunist and survivalist by nature okay oh man i sat down somewhere as a whole bunch of ants Damn, I better get up. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. I gotta find somewhere else, man. Damn, I hope I don't feel no fire ant bites. Sorry about this, y'all. But this makes for a good video, so, you know. Hey, I just gotta find somewhere else to sit. Oh, boy. The devil busy, ain't he? He, he don't want this information to get out. I'm telling you, man. He's trying every avenue that he can possibly find to make left side of the brain not be able to get this information out. And I don't want to have to do this video over. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to sit in here and I'm going to continue this video. The devil is a liar. This video will be produced today on the left side of the brain channel and we're not starting over. Devil, as hard as you try, you're not going to stop this information from getting out to the Jaguar community. Now, where was we at? Where were we at? Okay. Sorry y'all, the scenery is kind of bland now. I'm on the tennis, just sitting at the tennis court. But anyway, you see, she didn't understand the nature of a man. You see, and a woman, no, that's not what I was saying. What I was saying was, thank you, Spirit. A female is not going to continually keep lying and sleeping with you for nothing because they are opportunist and survivalist by nature, right? So she's going to have to get something out of the ordeal. And like I've experienced women, you know, throughout my life, I'll meet a girl. We might have sex once. We might have sex twice. By the third time, they start acting up. They're going to start drawing back the sex. They're going to start bringing up some type of argument for no reason, no matter how good the sex was or anything. And the reason why it's like that is because, well, I don't want to jump ahead too far okay but that's why she killed the dude because it's attached to the ignorance that she has about you know what i wouldn't even say they are ignorant about male nature they think they can defeat male nature because again it's the aspect of the hpb system itself that that they can defeat male nature 
like some men think they can defeat female nature. But the thing is, once you accept the truth, you will realize that you can't defeat female nature. You can't change the, the natural hard wiring of a female. She's designed to act a certain type of way because it all relates and is conducive to keeping the HPB system operating. Okay? So basically, this is what caused those chain of events to take place because her ego was bruised because she wanted a committed relationship. So when the dude decided to move on, she killed him. Now, when it comes to men who does who do the same thing, like when men may kill their girlfriend, the reason why men do it, well, let's let's write it down. For females, it's because her ego is bruised, right? It's not so much because she can't get sex from another man. It has nothing to do to do with that. It's more so like a slap in her face. She don't really care about, you know, getting sex from a man or missing out on that because a female can get sex 24 hours a day, seven days a week, every minute of the day, if that's what she wanted to do. But that would go against her nature, right? So just putting that out there. But for a man, when he kills his sad girlfriend, it's because of the physicality of it. Remember, when men get in relationships with females, they do it dishonestly. What I mean by that is the game, in a way, it makes you be dishonest. You know, as a man, you don't want to be in a relationship with a female. You don't want to be in a committed relationship, a platonic relationship with a female. But if you desire the female enough, you will deal with the part that you don't want, meeting, basically meeting her halfway. She's looking for commitment, commitment, security, and validation. So you will give her that in exchange for the sex. Because everything in nature is based upon give and take. In order to walk forward, you got to give up some ground that you was once standing on in order to move forward. You got to give up some ground. You got to give up some property. So when you're dealing with a female, you as the man, you sell out. Everybody who has ever dealt with a female, including myself, you have sold out in, in one form or the other. Even if you're dealing with a prostitute and paid for the sex you sold out you gave her money you did something that you that you really didn't want to do but you had to do it in order to get what you wanted to get so in a way you sold out and that's why i tell men all the time that you you not out thinking or outsmarting no female just forget about it it's nothing you can say it's nothing you can do it's just what it is you have to sell out in some form or the other or the other. Now, getting back to why the man, why a man will murder his girlfriend, it's because, like the woman, he he don't understand the game. Again, ignorance will make you do some foolish, ignorant things that will get you landed in the um foul box. Remember, this is a game. You know how in baseball. You get put in the penalty box. So in this life, the penalty, the penalty box is a prison. So you get envious and jealous because your girlfriend slept with another dude or whatever. And then you end up in a penalty box. Right? Now, how it affects a man. As we stated, for the female, it's like a slap in the face because... Again, she's told all her life her sex is the most precious thing ever to a man. But for a man, it's more of a physical thing. And let's break it down. You see, like I said, it's easy for a female to get sex. But for a man, when he kills his girlfriend, 
it's more so because of the anger that's involved in the fact that he had to work so hard to have sex with her. Think about it, man. To talk to a woman, number one, you got to go up to speak to her, first of all. That in itself is putting your dignity out on the line. Okay? The fact you got to even walk up to a person and say how you feel. You being very transparent with a person. So at that point, you've laid all your cards out on the table. And at this point, if she reject you, it's not going to feel good. Let's just be real. It, you went to her with, with an expectation. And if your expectation is not granted, it's not going to feel good. But I'm going to tell you how to deal with that later in the video. Now. Okay, you, you go up to this woman. You was lucky. She gave you the number. Okay? But you still have work to do. You and her, you separate. You go your way. You set up another time to meet. You text her later that day. You got to go through the texting ritual. Then you got to go through the uh, the first date ritual. It's, it might be real hot between you and her. It may be lukewarm. It may be cold. But however... You got to work at getting the sex. You got to work at finally being able to get the pussy. Okay, that's what you're working towards, right? You put in a lot of work. All we got in this life as a man is time. Any time not spent making money or bettering yourself is time wasted. So dealing with this female... It's a gamble, right? So so a man who goes fly off the handle, I'm just breaking down why he does it. This is the mentality behind it. He had to work hard for this woman. He had to take time out of his day where he could be making money. On top of that, for a female, you can get sex like snap. For a man, even the richest man in the world, the most handsome man, it don't matter. He still got to put in more work to get the female because it's so much competition out here, right? So when a when that so when a man kills a woman in a love Ooh, race, it's because like in his mind he's reflecting on how long it took him to actually have sex with this woman. And this is another reason why they say women get over relationships faster than men. They get over breakups faster than men. And when you look at the um the divorce rate females correct me if i'm wrong 70 percent of the time they initiate the divorce in marriages right and this is because this is because this is because it's so much easier for a woman to get a man like men are running around females like lap dogs all the time with their tongue hanging out their mouth. Right? And a woman, she's always looking for the next best deal anyway. Gotta understand female nature. Look at her wardrobe. She got tons of clothes. She got tons of shoes. If she don't wear her real hair, she got about 12 different wigs. She got every color lipstick you can think about. Every color makeup you can think about. All types of bras and underwear. She got it all, man. They waste money like it ain't nothing. Because they, they know that they can spend some man's money. I mean, they know they can just waste money because some dude going to take them out to eat anyway. Some dude is going to take them to see the movie anyway and pay for the ticket. Like a dummy. You know, I've been there before. I ain't just talking about like I'm above everybody else or nothing like that. I'm just keeping it real. Like, yeah. Like I said, you got to sell out to deal with them. So what happens is that man, he remembers all of this stuff. And of course, yeah, he could just go get another woman. But in a man's mind, he's saying to himself, damn, I got to start all the way from the bottom of the hill. Yeah, I can go get another woman, but I finally got one that was 
you know, down with the program, reciprocating the sex. It took long enough, a week trying to get sex is a week too long. Two days, a day trying to get sex from a woman is too much time. So this man in his mind, he thinking, this bitch done put me through all of this effort. And now she gonna cheat on me and leave me? Oh, hell no. Now I gotta start from the bottom of the hill and work myself up just to get another woman to have sex with me. Cause I thought I had this one in the back and she gonna up and leave me. So in his rage of not understanding female nature, again, remember, we're applying the, the rule that ignorance, the lack of uh, ignorance and emotions Ignorance equals, um, what we say, negative emotions, not understanding how the nature operates. That's where, that's where those negative emotions come from, because you don't understand the nature of life, right? So in his mind, he is uh, calculating everything, right? Everything I went through, all this money, he calculating all the hours and money, and he's tallying up this number in his head. All of this money I spent on you, all the weeks, all the times I could have hung out with my homeboys, went to the strip club. I was with you trying to get some pussy. This is this is what's running through his mind. And I I thought I finally had you in the back, and now I find out I find out you cheated on me and you left me for another man. And then he pulls out the nine millimeter, pop, pop, pop. And he shoots the woman or stabs her. Or whatever, and I and I actually know somebody that actually was killed by a man who actually killed his woman, who his wife, and I knew this woman personally. You know what I mean? And um, I think some of y'all may know some victims of love rage as well. Um, if you do, share your share your story in the in the comment section. But anyway, so he ends up killing the woman, right? Not. He did it because he didn't have control of his emotions and he didn't understand the game. He didn't understand the female nature, right? Had he been tuned into the left side of the brain channel, nah, just joking. But had he been on the left side in the Jaguar information, he would have had control over his emotions, right? But again, ignorance creates situations that have you put into the penalty box so instead of him being mature enough and strong enough to control his emotions he let his emotions get the best of him just like the female did so what's my point left side of the brain the point is by not understanding how the game plays by not understanding how the game goes back and forth. People will do some crazy things. See how it goes back and forth? And let me tell you something else. In the game of emotions, nobody is a winner. Thank you, spirit. In the game of emotions, nobody is a winner. Had the male knew this he wouldn't have killed that female in a love rage had the female knew this she wouldn't have killed her boyfriend and shot him seven times like in that story i was telling y'all about you see but because they didn't understand this they let the emotions that they let their emotions get the best of them they don't understand that em there is no winner in the game of emotions y'all know how i deal with women and stuff I understand the nature of this life. I understand female nature. I understand that when a man has sex with a woman, he is not fulfilled eternally by having sex with one particular woman. He's not sexually fulfilled eternally by having an orgasm with one woman after he has sex. Eventually, he's going to require more sex. That's the nature of this world that we live in. Think about nature itself. 
A tree never produces one apple more than what it needs. It keeps producing apples and keep producing apples and keep producing apples infinitely for all eternity as long as this earth remains as it is. So because we come out of this nature, we cannot exceed beyond nature itself. How we operate as spiritual beings, it does not exceed the nature around us. Meaning how we operate is seen within nature itself. That's why Jesus spoke in parables. Y'all following? So a woman, what most men don't understand, it's always going to be a fight between men and women when you do not understand the, the metaphysics, the principles, the metaphysical principles behind male and female. I'm going I'm to give you a universal principle. A man who thinks that he's the only man in the eyes of a woman, he is fooling himself. How you got to keep coming back for sex and is never fulfilled. She got to keep getting validated and is never fulfilled. See, women, when they dating men, it's not for sex. They like sex, don't get me wrong, but it's not at the top of their list. When a woman gets with a man, it's all about validation. When she gets into a relationship like I told y'all in the other video as soon as she smiles at you as soon as you smile at her and as soon as she smiles back at you that's when it starts falling apart you should have just left it in your mind you should have just left the attraction in your mind and never even stepped up to her if you want to keep if you wanted to keep her forever you should have just left it in your mind as soon as you smile at her and as soon as she smiles at you as soon as y'all exchange numbers you are breaking apart at that very moment that's the nature of everything the nature of everything is to die that goes for relationships that goes for an apple that's on a tree it's falling it falls from the tree when it's ripe, and, he, and, he, and as soon as it falls from the tree, it starts to rot and deteriorate. So had that man, in the example, in the hypothetical example I gave, had he knew about female nature, he would have never killed the woman because he would have known that he was not the, the end all to the validation of this woman. Let me tell y'all how women require validation. They start out, right, by getting validation from their girlfriends. Y'all know how I go. Girl, you look good in that dress. Girl, where you get that dress from? Yeah, child, you, you know how girls talk. Just how men talk in the lock, in the, in the weight room. Man, you getting big pumping that weight, um, Jim. Man, you getting big. Boy, them biceps looking nice, you know, but he does it in a masculine way. It's nothing wrong with that. But he's getting validation from his male counterparts that forms a camaraderie the validation it's the same way amongst females they complement each other that's a validation or a camaraderie between the sisterhood okay that's just one form but it's a trick to it women are way more vain than men they got some vanity issues with them they can never be satisfied so with the woman it goes a bit further you see a man is more simple than a woman right a woman woman she's more complex she's even designed more complex with the periods that they have and the womb and the breast milk and all of that so they have a lot of emotional things taking place and when you more emotional the more insecure you will be about yourself because your emotions are always changing about yourself. So you're going to constantly need validation to affix or, or reassure yourself. So she get it from her, her sisterhood and then she need it from the, the average men who she know is not going to ever get a shot with being with her. But she still like the attention. 
those type of men like oh you know she walks by and they whistle and that's making that's pumping her head up okay you think one day of that would be enough for her for the rest of her life no okay so she's going on throughout her day right and finally if she want to get in a relationship she can get in a relationship so she get in a in a relationship with a dude and the reason why she get into the relationship is for validation she's validating that she can get in a relationship so once that validation has been fulfilled then she don't want to be in the, be in the relationship anymore because she's already been validated by the man who she got in the relationship with so she is still looking and here's another thing about women they always looking for the highest bidder to a woman man you are just a car so say if you meet a, a, a girl in 2019 by 2020 new versions of cars are going to come out if you are a car fanatic and you love to shop for cars you're going to want the newest model car every year when one come out especially if you got the money to afford a more expensive car or a better model vehicle so a woman her money is her looks so if she got looks enough that can afford her a better man than you after the novelty of you wears off that's what she's going to do she's going to get another man just like somebody who got the money to get another car you would go just be real man wouldn't you go get another car if you got the money if it wasn't nothing like you had billions of dollars yeah you would it wouldn't be wasting because you you could do it so you would go get another vehicle because you got the means to do it just like a female if she got the looks and the beauty to do it once she has her joy or sexual fun with you or thrills she is also ready to move on to the next man the next best option ultimately the final goal that a woman is trying to reach is to marry either a movie star or a NBA athlete but we got a trick for that this woman her appetite is so huge that doesn't even satisfy her case in point Aisha Curry Steph Curry's girlfriend in college he ended up marrying her had kids by her she was just in the news recently about how she she wants more uh, validation from other men and this woman you would think she would be satisfied married to a millionaire one of the best shooters in NBA history Steph Curry it just goes to show you that female nature it mimics the nature around us what we call mother nature like like I said a, a tree does not produce not one apple too many and that female who gives birth to all of you out there listening this earth itself does not give birth via through the gateway of the female's vagina one person too many so what does that tell you since she is directly connected to nature itself because she is the one who pumps the babies into this her nature is just like her womb she's never going to produce or the female population as a whole is never going to produce one human being too many billions and billions of people as long as this earth remains will continue to come through the portal of the woman's vagina into this earth so I'm saying all that to say what he's probably saying what are you saying love side of the brain I'm giving you the, the metaphysics and the principles behind the operation of males and females and if a man if he would understand how females operate 
or if he knew how females operated, he wouldn't find himself in trouble. He wouldn't get in love rages. He wouldn't be heartbroken. He would handle each situation accordingly, accordingly to the metaphysics of how nature operates. Am I right or wrong, Jaguars? Put ones up if you agree, tools if you don't. I know I'm right. That's why I can say that. You see? Because if he knew the principles of the universe, he would know that the sun itself is the life giver on this planet. Just like the man who contains the sperm. The female, she represents the moon. She represents the smaller planet that orbits around the sun. And if that man who got caught up in a love rage, if he knew anything about the metaphysics of the universe, he would know that nature always brings something new. A new moon will always rise. So this is how you got to get this is how you get over getting connected to people. You got to look at everybody, especially when you're dealing with like a female you got to understand that a new moon will arise. A new, next month there will be another moon. You know how the moon go through phases? You got to look at women the same way. It's just a phase that you are going through with that woman. It's just a moon phase. That's it. This love thing is just a phase like the moon itself. Because a female, her period and everything is connected directly to the moon. So I'm telling you, man, that's how you got to deal with this thing so you won't get emotionally involved in it and then find yourself killing a woman and throwing your whole life away into the penalty box. When tomorrow you would have met a new woman anyway. And let me tell you all something. Everything in this nature, because we have DNA, is a clone of something else. The same people, the same faces have been recycling in this world over and over. Sometimes the daughter will look, say if the mother is an eight, the daughter may come out a 10. So that woman you so in love with, you like the way she looked, she got a cousin or an aunt or somebody down the line, down her genetic line that looked better than she did. It's another woman in your same city that can play the role that that very girl that you were so heartbroken and in love with that can look better than her. If you like the type of woman she was or if you like, because every man and woman got they, they type, their, their physical body type that they attracted to. So let's just say um, you attracted to that girl, right? Because of her body type. It's another woman with the same body type like me. I like women. I like women, I like lips, I like women who have pretty feet and stuff like that and things like that. I like hips and nice ass and all of that. But I always tell myself, no matter how beautiful this female's lips are, no matter how pretty her toes are, no matter how voluptuous she looks, no matter how perky and plump her breasts are, it's always another girl that can replace the same feeling that she is giving me when I look at her. It's another girl who has that same feature or close to it or even better or in the same family that has the groove that can unlock the chemicals in my brain to release the good feeling endorphins of sexual chemistry inside of me. It's not in one woman. When you go get a key made, that key that you have, that's not the only key that the key mold could cut at the key factory. It's other keys that can unlock the door to your house. The mold that was used to shape and cut the metal for the key to the lock, to the, um, the door lock at your home, that wasn't the only one. Y'all get what I'm saying? So once you understand things like this, this is how you deal with 
getting attached to people. I'm not saying you don't get into relationships, but when you let the relationship control you, it can it's because you don't understand how things operate. That's all left side saying. Y'all know I don't never tell y'all nothing wrong. That's all I'm saying. It's metaphysics behind this. You gotta understand. Okay? So I hope I have enough time because this is getting good. Are y'all enjoying it? Put ones up if you're enjoying it. So, this is another thing. Like, women, how they view sexuality is like this. Women like to have sex too. But again, their sex is connected to a certain time of the month. When they have their period. Around that time when they are very fertile. That's when they are the horniest. Around that time. Men, if a woman understood a, a male's nature, she would understand that he is horny 24-7, 365 days a, a week. Almost every minute and hour of the day, a man is ready to, to put it down. Y'all know what I mean. So if a woman would understand male nature, she would understand that. You know, I'm with this man. It's a possibility he may cheat because that's male nature. But again, the HPB system is out to contain men and confine male nature to get you trapped up into relationships, to get you doing things that you really don't want to do, like committing to a female in a relationship. The number one thing that's going to make you commit, whether you want to commit or not, is when you have a child by that woman. See, that's what it all boils down to. You see, the woman has a purpose. Her purpose is to create babies. You men are getting caught up in the love aspect of it. Because it's a sexual thing that took you a long time to get. So you ain't trying to give it up. When that moment come, you meet that woman, here's your big opportunity, Dave. You better get it. Forget what left side of the brain said. You better get that, man. You better, hey, do whatever you got to do to sleep with her. If that mean a relationship, if that mean getting her pregnant, even though you don't want to have kids because she says she want to have kids and you thinking in the back of your mind she may leave you if you don't get her pregnant and then you end up getting her pregnant thinking that's going to seal the deal and then two months later you find out she was cheating on you. And then you heartbroken and you're ready to kill her because you don't understand the nature of things and how it operates. Am I right, Jaguars? Put those ones up. Donate to the channel. You got to support this type of stuff, y'all, because this book is coming out and now I'm taking a commercial break. I need more of y'all to support this Patreon, man, because ain't nobody on YouTube putting out this type of information and y'all know it. You know it. Y'all not, you're not going to get this anywhere else. And I do this unconditionally. Because like I always say, I'm not out here trying to save nobody. I do this for Jaguar only. This is to edify people who already have it within them. We're not out here trying to save nobody. We've been stopped. I, I've been gave up this world. I don't care about these people. I'm just, I just have these conversations with people enlightened people i don't even know what i'm gonna title this video i'm just spitting this realness to real people i don't care about them trivial humans establishing mayhem so y'all gotta support something like this if you a real jaguar add us on instagram subscribe to the channel support the patreon now back to the um the subject matter you see once you understand how this nature operates, you, you then empty out all of the trash of past lifetimes, of past moments in your life. At some point, y'all got to grow up. At some point in this thing, you got to grow up and accept the truth, man. At some point. You got to accept the truth at some point. That's all I'm saying. And, and when you start accepting the truth, then 
your emotions will start to dwindle away. The only, the only emotion that you will have, like myself, I'm at this stage now, enlightenment. The only emotion, emotion that you will, you will have is the only true emotion which is connected to the happy feeling that you get from an enlightened message like the one I'm giving right now. And when you receive the truth, it'll be like you take a deep sigh. You just say, I finally get what left side saying. I'm telling you, all the weights of this world will be off of your shoulder. And you can, guess what? You can still enjoy women, but when you understand it, you will be able to enjoy women for what they was meant for, sexual pleasure, without getting caught up in it emotionally. That's what I'm saying. You can still enjoy, but your enjoyment will be more safe enjoyment. Because you don't care. You don't care about the outcome. But when you don't understand, it'll be like a game that you will never win. You can never win in a game of emotions because emotion is not based in logic. It's just revenge. So you will end up killing a woman and your revenge will be based in jealousy. This is why they end up killing women or, or a woman kill a man because... At the moment that person kills that person, guess what? They still like that person. But they not mature enough to just walk away. So what they have to do in their selfishness, let's just say if a man kill a woman in a love rage, he kills the woman not because he hates her. He hates the fact that she has decided to move on. So what he does, he kills the woman because by killing her, he says to himself, I'm going to kill you. And by killing you, it assures me that you're never going to go out and sleep with no one else. Because you're going to be dead. So I got you forever in my mind. And I can be at peace knowing that I killed you. And if nobody, if I can't have you, nobody can have you. But at least I was the last person to have you. So by killing the woman, it's like he takes her soul. Or when she killed that man, it's like she took her his soul. Because if they can't have the person, then nobody can. So they feel like I was the last person to have you. And you and the last memories I had with you is with me forever. And I don't have to worry about you out cheating or with another person. That's the lowest thing that you can do. Kill somebody. Out of a selfish love desire like that. Hey, that's why I tell y'all. I'm only in love with the truth. The right understanding to heaven. That's the only thing left side of the brain is in love with. Fuck some love, man. I'm in it for the pussy. I, I've, I've grown to that level, man. You got to get to that level. Not disrespecting women or nothing like that. But if I'm dealing with a woman... Not and another thing, not saying you can't be in a relationship with a woman. That's not why left side saying this. I'm saying a mature relationship is one where the woman gives you space and you give her space. Meaning you understand her nature. And you don't you don't you shouldn't even even want to be with a woman that that, that that's not willing to submit to you. If she can't submit to you as the man Then you don't, need, you don't need to be with her If she make you feel uncomfortable Or got you doing uncomfortable things You don't need to be with her Delete Learn how to use your delete button on your phone man I do that all the time I'll meet a woman And when that shit start going left Well we're going to say right Because I'm left side of the brain So when it start going right I just delete her I delete her, man. Because I am ain't got no time for a bunch of headache and stress over something so simple. It's the oldest act in the universe, which is sex. 
It's taking place around us right now. It's, it's about to rain. Look at the clouds. There ain't nothing but sex about to take place. The rain represents sperm. The ground represents the woman. And what the ground brings forth is the child. That's the metaphysics behind this stuff, man. So when I'm on this channel talking and stuff, it ain't me just moving my lips. Nah. This stuff, you can live by this stuff, man. I'm telling y'all, ain't no, ain't nobody else on this YouTube like this. Hey y'all, it's kind of stirring up out here, so um I respect nature. I'm about to um I'm about to walk in my car. But y'all know what? I'm good, man. I'm good. I'm good. I ain't about to end this yet. See what happens is you gotta understand, like these women, right? They think they the best thing since God created water. So I'm gonna drink some of this, right? Look where the water is now. See the level it's at? So you a man and you with a woman, right? Okay, that water represents... This bottle represents you, the man. That water represents what that woman is filling you up with. Self-worth because you don't feel worthy about yourself without her. So every day she with you, it's dwindling, right? She's moved... Like I said, as soon as she accepts you... That's when she rejects you. As soon as she accepts you, that's the moment she rejects you, right? So I'm going to drink some of this water. Look at the level, the water level. You see how it dwindled away? Every day. Every day, the more you pour out, the more she starts to leave the more of you attached to her it starts to pour away then you you i ain't, I ain't gonna pour out all my water <laughs> but but y'all get the point eventually you're gonna be empty and how these men feel they're gonna they feel like it took me so long to to fill up myself with the the love of a woman you mean to tell me you can't feel complete without the love of a woman i feel complete my woman is truth. My woman is truth. That's why no woman can break my heart. Can't no woman make left side of the brain depressed and stressed out because I'm in love with the truth, man. When I discovered the truth, the right understanding to heaven, I found everything. That's what this whole channel is about. That's what the HPB system is against. It's against you learning the truth. It don't want you happy. It won't it want to make itself happy by making you sad. Do y'all hear what I'm saying? That's all I've been saying throughout the duration of this channel, throughout the duration of every video. Go watch every video. It all links to what I'm saying right now. That's all it's about. Us versus them. The secret wars. To take away your happiness from you and to and to pour it into somebody else. That's not giving you anything back. Once I pour this water out, gravity takes it out the bottle and it don't replace it. It don't put it back in the bottle. So if I pour all this water out, the water is not going to pour the opposite way back into the bottle. No, it's not. It's going to soak into the ground. And that's what we be doing in this life. We be pouring out ourselves to these people and they don't give it back. They just, they just take it they don't give back the hpb system is not fair the game is not fair it's rigged but you got to understand it's rigged when you understand it's rigged you don't have no problem when you go into a, a gambling house you never gonna win more money than than what's inside of the machines do y'all get what i'm saying you never gonna cash out the entire um roulette machine you're never going to cash out the entire machine they may give you some money but you're never going to cash out every last cent of every machine inside of the, the casino you're not that would defeat the purpose of the casino the purpose of the casino is to get you coming back and that's why these women do how they do they give you a little and then they draw back to make you slave more to get some more water that they gave you. 
They work you like a slave because they know that a person will do whatever they need to do to fulfill that desire that they believe is very necessary for them in order to live. So since people have sex as one of the greatest desires, like eating food itself, they will uh, do whatever it takes through that female to make you keep coming back. Because eventually, it's all about getting a woman pregnant and having a child. So that child can go through the same thing that you're going through. It's starting to rain, y'all. Y'all see it? That's why I tell y'all don't have kids, man. That's why I tell y'all don't have kids. By the way, this left side of the brain. Hit the likes button. Y'all, hold on, hold on, hold on, y'all. I gotta get in the car. It's raining. Kind of thundering a little bit. Yo, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. It's getting good. Hold up. Uh, uh. Tell you, man. Oh, okay. Nature is relentless, y'all. Start raining. It don't care if you outside. That's why them. That's oh, thank you, spirit. That's why women treat men the way they do. Female nature is just like. Nature, man, like female nature is like, it's like, uh, you know how women are moist. The vagina is moist when it, when it rains. That's female nature. It's moist. It's coming down like female. That's why women can reject you and don't care about the outcome. They don't care what you doing. They don't care if you was just happy, happily in love with them. And if you walk, they don't care if you having a happy day, right? And then they don't care about you walking up to them, asking for, for their number or whatever, and they telling you no, or just rolling their eyes at you. Just like nature didn't care about me making this video right now, it didn't stop and pause from raining because of me making a video. You get what I'm saying? So female nature is the same way. It don't care about what state of mind you are in it don't care about that it don't care like when you go to a club or something right it's not a party for the men the party is for the females they the ones in the club with the option to choose whatever man they want to be with you get what i'm saying the club is designed for the women so they can get the pick of the litter and you gonna find out it's not a party for you as a man. As soon as you walk up to a female and ask her for her number, or she deny you that dance, then you gonna realize, hey, this party is for the females. It ain't for you. Once you get rejected at that party, you are gonna realize the party is not even a party. You just standing around, hoping to get selected by a female. It's not a party for you as the man. Once you get rejected the whole night, if you get rejected the whole night, it ain't no party. You didn't get all dressed up and put cologne on and just to go ask a woman out and she reject you. Then you you going to be like, "Damn, man. My night. God damn. This this is a waste of time, man." That's how you going to feel. But it's not like that for the woman. She can just sit like I said, it goes into what I say about women controlling the atmosphere. Even at a party, they control the atmosphere. So, just in just all of this that I'm saying, all of this stuff connects. All of this stuff connects. So, if you at a party, you get rejected by a woman. Even if you're in a relationship with a woman, you already rejected by her. Just because she chose you don't mean anything. Because the rejection began the moment she accepted you. The moment she accepted you, in your mind, you should already be saying, all right, bye, nice to meet you. I'm telling you, man. You should be already saying that in your mind. Nice to meet you, bye. 
Like I said, if you want to keep a woman forever, don't even step to the one that you like. Just keep it in your mind. Don't even approach her. And you can, you can have her forever. But the moment you take it from your mind and, 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 and engage with the, uh, the thought that you was having and make it real, that's when you have ended the relationship. That's when that good thought that you had going to turn into, man, she left me. It, you won't feeling like that when you was liking her, when you had a crush. But but after you take the crush to the next step, it's going to end. I look at it like this. I look at it like this. It's no need to feel bad about none of this because if a woman rejects you, you shouldn't get all emotional about it because it only means she rejected you. Look at it like a basketball game, right? Your team versus another team. So in this example, we're going to say the men are the red jerseys. The females are the blue jerseys, okay? You on a red jersey team as the man. You shoot your shot and somebody on the blue team, they reject the ball from going through the hoop. But another member on your team, he gets the rebound. Now, again, in this example, the men are the red jerseys. The females are the blue jerseys. Another man picks up the ball. He shoots. He don't get rejected. The ball goes through the hoops. Two points for the men team. So you got to look at it like that. Like, you may not get the woman, but somebody else on the team may get her, and he may score. He may score with that woman, even though you didn't. So either one, either way, somebody took one for the team. Either way, that woman needs male attention, male validation, male support in order to survive in this world. So it may not be me that she give it to. It may not be the next person. Somebody is going to get it. So when women be acting like stingy about their sex and trying to act all stuck up, she going to give it up eventually to somebody, some man. She has to. So that's another way to look at this thing. You got to look at it as a team effort. Because really, all these women are getting gang banged by the same men. It's just not taking place at the same time. Like if a woman sleep with you, and then sleep with your friend next don't, week. It just didn't rent. take place like under the same roof, at the same hotel, but it took place within time. So it don't matter if you fucked her and then the next dude came a second later and fucked her behind you. It don't matter if the, the time she fucked the next dude was a week or a year or two years. If she had sex with three men, three men ran a train on her. The time in between don't matter. It don't matter if she just laid there and had sex with three men in the same room on the same night. Whether it was the same night or within three years. Three men ran a train on her. That's another way y'all got to look at it, man. You can't look at this thing emotionally. You got to look at it for what it is. Like... Like women, man, sex is sex, man. They try to make it into something more than what it is. Sex is sex. Whether you put a marriage label on it or girlfriend or dating or all of that, at the end of the day, when a woman is sucking your dick and it feels good, it feels good. Whether, the, whether a woman prior to her did it and made you feel good whether the woman after her did it and made you feel good. It all feels good. In your mind, as a man, it's all going to be stored in the memory of, I remember when this girl sucked my dick and it felt good. See, all of this relationship stuff, titles, like marriage and all of that, all of that stuff is to protect the female's image. 
Because you got to understand the history of marriage in the first place. The history of it was to connect families within tribes to have good relationships. One man would give his daughter away to another man, another clans member, and they would give a dowry and they would marry into each other families, families based upon uh, business purposes to keep the wealth within the family. That's the real history of why we protect the image of the female because it, it has to do with the respect of the clan because it, it was related to money. But in this new era where women, where they don't need committed relationships because technology has advanced to the point where technology has become the, um, the husband of the female. The system has become the husband of the female. Where men used to have to work to provide for the woman, now she can work by herself. She can make her own money. So it, it increases the problem. Because now, if you thought her nature was bad, it's amplified. Because now, she's, she's really down to just hop from dick to dick, from man to man. Because now, women don't need men in the way they used to a thousand years ago. When men did all the hunting and the woman actually needed the man to protect the home. Now she has the police. She, if something is going on, she can just call the police. Yeah, I got some strange noises outside my house. So the system is her new husband. And this system protects her. her the system is her new husband. It protects her. And that's why when you get in some type of um, altercation, guess what? Her new husband, the system, takes her side. They give the children to her. If a woman called the police on you and say you lay her, your hands on her, they don't even want to hear your side of the story because the system is her husband. It's not like how it used to be. Women got control. So it's no such thing as a single woman. As long as they have a system that's on their side, a court system, it's no such thing as a single woman. So that that's why the games that they play have increased. Because it's nothing. It's not a loss to them. They can work now. They don't really need your money like before. When a woman is with a man now, it's just for validation. She might set a goal in her life. I want to be married by um, age 30. And she may get married. But guess what? She's going to divorce sooner or later because the marriage was just a validation. What I'm trying to tell you as a man, you are not important to her. You are just a validation stepping stone to the next validation stepping stone. Do y'all hear what I'm saying? That's all you are to her. You just one validation stone from the next validation stone that she's going to step on and is going to be on her feet and she's going to move on to the next step until she loses her beauty and she gets old and then she decides to, to settle down and not because she loves you because by that time she's too old to just be moving around so she needs you to be the dummy to marry her to secure her so when you die, she can take your money. Y'all got to understand. And I'm not throwing women under the bus. I'm just giving y'all the nature of how this thing operates. Do y'all hear what I'm saying? This is left side of the brain. You know I ain't going to never tell you nothing wrong. Y'all know that. So that's why I married the truth. That's my wife. That's my wife right there. Guess what her name is? Her name is Ruth. <laughs> That's my wife. Her name Ruth. R-U-T-H. Yeah, I got a girlfriend. What's your girlfriend name? Ruth. 
Ruth? Yeah, Ruth. You y'all don't know about Ruth? Yeah, that's my girl. She real pretty. She never leave me. She always there for me. She keep a smile on my face. She never cheat on me. She never grows old. She get better over time. That's my girl, Ruth, right there. That's my girl. Always be by your side. Through thick and thin. This my ride or die chick right there. R-U-T-H. That's my ride or die chick. Truth. The right understanding to heaven. Make her your woman. And y'all other women I sleep with, y'all just flings. I don't care if you leave. Look. Look. I don't care if the flings leave. They can leave. As long as I got that, that's how you got to look at this thing, man. The, the, the other women, the physical women in physical form, they just flings. Ruth, she always there. Ruth, she never get too old to have children. Meaning, you always going to get insights from her. She going to keep birthing you insights. She don't mind if you sleep with uh, other girls. Because she understand the game just like I understand the game. So she don't mind. Ruth ain't gonna leave you. Cause you sleep with another female. Ruth don't care. Ruth the realest. <laughs> she the realest girl you ever have. Ruth gonna always be there. Trying to tell y'all, man. Y'all know ain't nobody else coming like this on this channel. Ain't nobody else telling y'all about how all this stuff connect and correlate with the HPB system and how all this stuff. Uh, interact with each other This is the escape out of this hell man Ruth is the escape You better marry the truth man Fuck all that other shit All that other shit will leave you behind And guess what Truth is unconditional love we don't, we don't get with truth because of the way she looked Because we don't see her But we still love her She looks She is beautiful She's all the beautiful things in nature that's real Whether that's a beautiful flower Whether that's a beautiful day Don't no woman look better than that All this nature around you That's Ruth man Them beautiful purple mountains with the sunrise behind it That's Ruth man That's her face That's how she looks You think some pussy wet You can dive in the ocean of Ruth Can't no pussy get wetter than that You can go deep sea um, Coral diving See how beautiful the inside of Ruth is Don't nothing Ain't no pussy more beautiful than that So the side chick to Ruth Is just these ordinary everyday women In human form That's who, that's who my side chicks is Ruth is my main girl. Y'all get what I'm saying? Other women, I ain't telling y'all not to deal with them. Them just side chicks, man. So you can go, you can may as well expect them to leave. They're going to give you problems. Just know when you're dealing with anything in this world, man, is outside of this, outside of Ruth, anything you're dealing with outside of that is temporary. And if you would look at things like that, you won't have no problems. Because ignorance is where negative emotions come from. E intelligence kills the negative emotions. Right? When you're ignorant about how women operate, that's when you want to fight your fellow man because you're jealous. Because you're caught up in ignorance. Why are you jealous over something and it's so, it's so many, so many women out here? Why are you jealous? Hey, and, and, if, and if one of them women you jealous about, like I said, either way, they're going to give it up to somebody on the team. So even if she give it to one of them organic portal males, fuck it. She still gave it up for somebody on the team by showing you that she won't worth you anyway because your mentality was too high for her that she had to go to one of them organic portal males to a Chad, to a Tyrone, a Pookie or Ray Ray who don't understand this type of knowledge. She did that to make you jealous. 
That's why sometimes women will go to men that are totally opposite of you and you know that you a better person than that certain man. I'm not talking about like, you know you know the spirit, you know the fruit. How, do, how does it go? You know the tree by the fruit that it bears. You know that if a woman is with a, 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 a empty vessel, you already know it. The only reason why she did that because also within this human prison bar system, it tries to, um, it tries to make us men, the united souls, it tries to make us feel insecure about where we stand in this truth. And it'll make these women go rubbing in our face that they got with some type of man that was some type of degenerate organic portal male. So we will think to ourselves, mm, maybe I should just sell out and be like the organic portal male so I can get some action. But I'm telling you, don't do that. Because guess what? Even though I'm using all of this stuff as a metaphor about truth, one day that roof is going to reveal her self in physical form and guess what i think i already seen my ruth i had a dream one time right it was more like a vision and i'm telling y'all man i saw this woman she was so beautiful Whew, she had the prettiest skin she was like standing on this mountain and the wind was blowing and she had like this um this like this this garment like wrapped around her body right and the wind was blowing her hair was blowing right she had the prettiest eyes the prettiest dark skin complexion i mean she was the most beautiful the perfect nose and then an image came from the background it said positive energy and guess what i try to have a dream about that woman again and I never had a dream about her again. I don't know if I will have a dream about her again. But what I but what was revealed to me was that woman is the truth. It just came to me in that beautiful form of a woman. So what I'm telling y'all is it may look like they winning right now, but we going to change. I believe. I know that eventually this world is going to fall apart. All of us who stuck into the end, just like the Bible say, we're going to be given new robes. We're going to be in glorified bodies, all of that stuff. So it's not just dealing with it and knowing how to, you know, just deal with it. No, we're going to literally be able to receive because we endured. Remember, the race is not given to the swift or to the strong, but those who endure to the what? The end. Their end is our beginning. Their demise is our joy. Like they be like this world, they be putting pressure on us, on our jobs. Oh, y'all don't fit in. Y'all too. Y'all united souls, you don't fit in. You y'all don't belong here. You uh, you can't never be accepted. They want to they want to make us feel so bad. But guess what? They doing that because they jealous of us. When somebody is jealous of you, they don't know how to take you. So they it's an awkward it's an awkward feeling between you and them. Case in point. I was at this restaurant today, right? And when, when people see certain black men, they have a uh, predisposed image about them, right? But when they see a black man that's about something and he look good on top of that and the way he look and the way he carries himself goes against your stereotype of what you believe a black man supposed to be based upon the media and everything and when you see one that goes against the status quo of how they want to put all black men in a shoebox right and I'm getting personal now right 
with myself. So I was in this restaurant, right? And I'm not going to give the race of the woman. And no, she wasn't a white woman. Because that's the first thing you're probably thinking. But it was another race of woman. And she seen me. And when she saw me, I can tell that I defied everything that she ever heard about black people. Or, I mean, a black man. And on top of that, I look good. I'm not a bad looking person. I look good. And when she saw me, she had mixed feelings. She was like, I want to treat this dude like I've been taught to treat these people. But I can't because he um, he's defying everything that I ever thought about a black man. He's a young looking black man. So he must be a thug or something like that. But when she saw me. She couldn't um she couldn't uh say that about me, right? So when I come into the restaurant, of course she had to treat me right because I come into the restaurant, but she was kind of had like a bad attitude. You see? And the reason why she did that is because she had an awkward feeling. It was an awkward moment because she was fighting several things. One, she could have been attracted to me. Two, she had a predisposed feeling about me. And three, she had to treat me right because I was in a place of business. So she still had to do the formality. That's why I said I hate formalities. I hate the formality thing. But anyway, I'm just saying that to say most of the time when you feel that coming from people, it's because... They battling something in their emotions. And at the same time, they trying to keep the formality thing. So that awkwardness comes from you, you being able to feel the energy is not genuine. Because it's formality fighting a true feeling that they have about you. But being a spiritual person, being the united soul that you are, you are able to pick it up. Yeah, this person feel certain kind of way about me because they trying to be nice because we on a job but they really don't like me i can tell that's where that awkward feeling come from so whenever you feel that awkward feeling it's coming from the person battling a true feeling that they have about you versus the formality that they have to play that they have to play the role they have to play you see that formal display they have to portray so they battling that. And that's where, that's where that awkwardness comes from. Y'all hear what I'm saying? So. I'm just saying all that to say like. That's what all of this stuff we be going through. It comes from that. Because they see something different in us. They never going to speak about it. But they going to show you through their actions. They don't like you. But they, they, they can't say it. Because it will blow the cover. That's how these HPBs operate and that's how you can detect them. Because when you're around an HPB, you will get an awkward feeling. And sometimes it may be the person likes you like it's a female or something. But even still, you can tell if a female likes you, but if she don't like your mentality. Because sometimes people will get with you just based on lust. I've been through that a lot. Like I've been with females sometimes. I know they just with me because... Of my appearance They don't really like what I stand for Even though I may have never spoke to them About what I stand for They can just feel that this person is different That's where that awkwardness comes from When you're dealing with HPBs That's how you can detect it So that awkwardness that you feel That's a, that's a, that's a giveaway That you are dealing with a HPB Because really what it boils down to, where that feeling comes from, they themselves, it comes from two things. Either your mentality, something that's inside of you, the way you view and perceive the world, it goes against the way that they view and perceive the world. And it lets off a odor. I'm not talking about a musk odor, but your energy is like a odor that comes off of you. Just like if a person is musty and they need deodorant, they can't hide it. 
So what they do, they cover it up with deodorant. So in this metaphorical sense, a person will cover up their true feelings towards you with a smile. That's like a deodorant covering up the odor. Or they'll try to use a formality to cover it up. But they really don't like you. They just put up with you for the time being. Maybe you on the job, you got to work together. Or, you know. Because a lot of times, people do a lot of things that they don't want to do for the sake of survival. And once they don't need you, they just press the button. And you ever seen the cartoon? They press the button and the floor um, rolls back and the cartoon character just falls through. That's what they'll do.